Microsoft just recently announced that the new TypeScript compiler will be written in Go, not C Sharp, which caused some uproar in the community, which is a bit frustrating. So let's talk about why. Now I'm gonna go into more depth into this topic in episode 251 of Dev Questions. That comes out soon. But let's talk a bit about how brownfield development works. When you already have over a million lines of code written, you don't get the opportunity to just rewrite everything from scratch. So what do you do? You have to figure out what can we do with what we have. And the, the bottom line here was that for this specific case, for this specific instance, it made the most sense to have a port, which is basically where you keep as much of the same code as possible when you're changing languages. And that's what they did. They basically copied most of the code and pasted it, and then were doing cleanup work on that code. And that allowed them very quickly to move from TypeScript to Go because those two languages are very similar, especially with how the TypeScript is written, which is mostly in a functional way. In fact, if they wanted to go with a .NET, they probably would go with F sharp because it's more functional. But again, those syntaxes don't line up real well. Now, the person who made this decision is the person who created C sharp and TypeScript. He's the lead architect on both. So he knows a thing or two about how these things are built. Microsoft is not backing away from C sharp. In fact, most of the code at Microsoft is written in C sharp. It's just for this specific instance that it's not. So don't get panicky when you hear things like that. Recognize that brownfield development, real world development means you don't always choose the same tool when you have different circumstances.